from Hollywood, it's the biggest loser finale. Here's Allison Sweeney. from across the country transform their bodies and their lives. But over the next two hours, you are going to be blown away by their transformation. Tonight, each of their incredible journeys comes to a dramatic conclusion with one final live weigh-in. All right, everybody, here are the stakes. First, our 14 eliminated players compete for a prize of $100,000 from BiggestLoserClub.com. The Biggest Loser scale has helped to shed pounds in 90 countries and five continents. But the weight that comes off doesn't happen easily. This season began when 18 overweight people came together, bonded over a shared goal, to lose weight and change their lives forever. I think the first major comment happened when I was like 10. This boy, like for no reason at all, called me a fat pig. Do you remember every comment that people say to you about your weight? I really think that I'm a handsome guy, but if I like strip down and look at myself honestly, it's a shame that I let myself get this far. Upon arrival, the players were hit with some big news. Six of you are going home tonight. I'll we'll see you guys. I want to see you fan at the finale. Bye-bye. I'm extremely disappointed. You know, as a person who's overweight, you feel disappointment a lot. It just felt like one more rejection. <laughs> but their journey didn't end there. Who is that? Oh! You're my black team. Oh my God. Julian, she's a machine. I expect nothing less than your best. Do you understand me? While the black team fought for their pride in the desert, the red and blue teams fought to survive life on the Biggest Loser campus. <laughs> Three, two. Then the black team sent a shock when they re-entered the game. Oh, 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 oh. oh hell. Man, I was just getting used to Kim, and now I got Jillian. Oh, no way. I can't believe she's fat. Barbie and Ken can duke it out. From that point on, the competition went into overdrive. I'm doing fine to stop. I'm asking you to stop right now. You will not doubt me. What? I want to hear you say it. I said I cannot run. Do you got it? With the help of their trainers, Bob, Kim, and Jillian, contestants face their fears head on. This is where lives are made. In these moments, when you choose whether or not to say, I can't or I can't. The finish line isn't in two weeks here. The finish line isn't in December. The finish line is never. You don't want any more excuses. You're going to take advantage of every single second that we have together, aren't we? Yes. Yes. Tell me you're worth it. I'm worth it. Tell me again. <gasps> I'm worth it. That's right. You are worth it. Each week, the players faced the scale and got to see all of their hard work pay off. I love you, man! Yes! <laughs> but for the first time in Biggest Loser history, two entire teams were eliminated, leaving only four members of the black team. You have to face that scale one more time. Holly, Isabeau, Bill, and Julie. Tonight, which one will be crowned the biggest loser and win the grand prize of $250,000? The Biggest Loser is live tonight.
Biggest Loser scale. million people fought for the chance to come to the Biggest Loser campus. 18 made it and one by one 14 players were sent home where they faced the biggest challenge of all, staying in shape in the real world without their trainers. Are you ready to see how well they did? transformations. Later, we'll find out who wins the grand prize of $250,000, live from Hollywood. Live from Hollywood, it's the finale of The Biggest Loser.
Pacquiao, middle of the season, he made a huge decision to switch trainers. Watching it back on TV, what did you think? Were you still happy with the decision you made? Um, I was extremely happy with the decision I made. Jillian um, really made me realize what my true potential was and maximized it, and she changed my mindset from maybe or I can't to I can. And as you can see, I know I can now, and uh, yeah. kind of Your brother were the first twins in Biggest Loser history, but you left after a couple weeks. You had to go home and do it by yourself. How was that doing it without your brother? Well, when the, when I went home, the competition really started for me because not only was I competing with the 14 of these great people, but now I got that competition with my brother, so I wanted to stay with him. So, so there was double competition, and with the help of my wife at home, it was uh, it made, made it possible for me. Speaking of. Pound weight gain, unprecedented in Biggest Loser history. You're watching the show at home with your family. There's your family right there. I gotta ask you, were they like high fiving you for your strategy, or are they starting to question your moral integrity? Um, I said definitely the question of moral integrity more than anything else. My parents are not the happiest people in the world with that. It's not my proudest moment in Biggest Loser history by any means. Uh, you know, I think that you, I think there's always different kinds of gameplay, whether you're chirping in someone's ear before an elimination or making an alliance behind closed door. But uh, at the end of the day, I think the best strategy, best gameplay you can have is to beat the scale every week. And so happy to see that everybody else has done that too. So it's really good. Okay, what about you, B? You um, had to be the last red team member standing. That must have been extra difficult for you to go home. You struggled a little bit with your diet plan. How did you do it at home? You obviously succeeded. Um, yeah, I definitely succeeded. But I just stuck to what Kim taught me on the, on the campus and made sure that I was you know, fine-tuning my diet and with the help of my wife and family at home. They were all supporting me and make, just making sure that I was on track because you know, I wanted to put my best, best foot forward here at the finale. So well, you certainly did that. But it is even harder to do without your family and friends there to cheer you on, and no one knows that better than our final four. They were separated from their families for almost four months, and they were pretty psyched to head home. I'm in a limousine heading home, and it feels pretty good. It's, uh, it's been a long time. I think when you actually are facing going home, it becomes much scarier than it was when you were just contemplating going home. I think coming home for me is going to be really tough. Just the day-to-day -day ins and outs of life that kind of distract you from your goals, but they're going to be there. It was the most difficult thing in the world to leave, you know, my family. But um, I'm sure when they see me, they'll understand, you know, that this is what I had to do for myself. I have made um, some pretty significant sacrifices to be here. I miss kindergarten graduation. <sighs> I left a child that I barely even recognize anymore. I don't want him to ever look back <sighs> on the time that I spent here and think that it was wasted. walking into a dream. You think of all the faces that you'd see if you were going to go home and who you'd want to be there. And literally, all of them were inside my front door. So it was an amazing experience. When I saw Isabel, um, I just got overwhelmed so fast. And I just started bawling my brains out. Just the way she carried herself. Um, she was just looking out at everybody, just like, hey, watch out. Here I come. You know, nothing's going to stop me now whatsoever. The next three months is going to be as hard, if not harder than the time I spent on campus, but I have no doubt that I'm gonna take this thing. It just feels amazing, you know, because coming home when you've been away so long is just a reminder of why you left in the first place.
stay home. Oh, hi. Oh, that's hi. me. Oh. Yes, I'll well, take you. Oh. Thank you, Noah. It's good having my mom home. It's great. I mean, I didn't get to see her for ever, and now I had the chance to see her, and it was the best day ever. Awesome. It's really incredible to have her back, and I'm busting at the seams with pride for her and what she's done. So we walk around and see everyone who has supported me and cared for my family and you know prayed for me and just been there for me it was just overwhelming. I mean, I just I couldn't hold back my emotions. Oh my gosh, it was so hard, but it was so worth it. And um, I felt every single prayer. And um, just like knowing that this was waiting for me, there are no words. Thank you. Oh. Oh my God. He looks so cute. The fact that all those people came out just to welcome me back and you know let me know how proud they were of me, I couldn't have asked for anything more from them. I just was so proud because it's something that she wanted to do and tried hard or she would not have looked as good as she did. just ready to be a more active father. And we're just so happy for his achievements. I walked up to the house. I was pretty nervous. Bottom line is my heart was racing. And I knew that uh, just on the other side of the door, there's my wife and kids who I haven't seen in four months. And pretty nerve wracking experience. Daddy's home. Hi, Bill. Oh, Daddy, you're home. <laughs> what do you think? Do I look a little different? You look great. You look great. Look at you guys. How big? You're so big. Oh my God. So much, Daddy. <laughs> what do you guys think? You look so different. What do you think? <laughs> you know, it made it all worthwhile to see the look on their faces to say, wow, look how Dad looks. Look how good he looks. Look how happy he looks. So I know. Home. <laughs> Me too. I'm most proud of my dad about how like he just lost all the weight. I didn't think he could he would lose too much, but I'm just amazed how much he lost. Wow. Look great. Thanks, Tops. It's only you. Hey, everybody! <laughs> it's gonna be nice to have someone to train with, especially Bill. Whatever we do, you know, we do it to beat each other first. So uh, now it's gonna be. We're going to be working together to beat everybody else. You look like you lost the whole person. I did. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey, guys. No, no. There you go. Everyone's in hope. In just a minute, our 14 eliminated players will weigh in live for $100,000. They've changed their lives, and now the biggest loser is challenging you, America, to change your own lives with the Million Pound Matchup. It's part of the upcoming season of The Biggest Loser, and it's couples this time. Starting two weeks from tonight on New Year's Day, watch this. The biggest event in 2008. Join the Million Pound Matchup, a challenge for America to lose an unbelievable one million pounds. And we're inviting you to be part of the experience. You've seen incredible transformations over the last four seasons of The Biggest Loser. And now, it's your turn to start your weight loss journey. Log on to biggestloser.msn.com and start your transformation today. Later, the four finalists compete for the $250,000 grand prize here on the Biggest Loser Finale, live from Hollywood.
now they are going to weigh in one the last time for $100,000. But first, I think it's time to bring out the three people responsible for these miraculous transformations. Let's hear it. I've dedicated my life to other people, and I've never really dedicated my life to me, and it's time for me to do that. Since returning from the Biggest Loser campus, I have lost a total of 65 pounds. Losing the weight as a paramedic has helped me so much, both professionally and personally. Professionally, it's just helped me to endure and to be able to, to run to those patients that I want to run to. This used to be tight on me. I think this one works a little bit better. came to The Biggest Loser, your starting weight was 295 pounds. Your current weight is... 7%. Come over here, Amber. You set a pretty high bar for everyone else to meet. Let's see how they do. Yeah. Leslie, you went home in week two. <laughs> Leslie arrived on campus in the wake of a disaster, but she turned things around. Let's take one final look back. You know, I'm from New Orleans, and I suffered a great loss with Hurricane Katrina. I started really eating a lot after the storm. I mean, you feed the pain. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 255 pounds. Today, I weigh 200. I get up at 4.15 in the morning, I run three miles. You know, getting healthy and change in my life is gonna definitely benefit my son. Now I can do things with them. I'm gonna stay focused because everybody else before me did it and I can do it too. To take the lead, you need to have lost more than 72 pounds. Your starting weight was 255 pounds, Leslie. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 200 pounds. You lost 55 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss. This is real. <laughs> Good for you, Leslie. You did a great job. Amber, you are still our first place right now. One step closer to $100,000. Jerry, you were on campus for three weeks. Jerry broke two records. Uh -oh. He was the oldest player ever on The Biggest Loser, and he lost more weight in a single week than any player in history. He lost 31 pounds. Here are some other highlights. I'm a retired firefighter, and I let myself get a little overweight almost 300 pounds. I'm 62 years old, but I want to have my children and grandchildren not only see me live, but have me do things with them. I don't care how old you are, you can still lose weight and be healthy, and I 
hope that I'll be able to encourage other people that are in my age category that they can do this too. This is what I did all this for, these three right here. I hope that losing all this weight, I'll be able to see them graduate from high school. All right, here's the deal, Jerry. Oh, to take the lead and get one step closer to $100,000, you need to have lost more than 84 pounds. So get on that scale and let's see how you did. All righty. Jerry, your starting weight was 297 pounds. Your current weight is? and she knew she had to make a change. Let's take a look. Losing weight for me is a life or death situation. Several years ago, the doctors determined I had an elevated liver enzyme. I'm not gonna be there for my kids, and I, I have to take control. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 280. Today, I weigh 219 pounds. I have the energy to play with my kids and keep up with them. On, Playing with my kids is, is living life to the fullest. I have the confidence that I can do anything, and it's just incredible. Patty, to take the lead, you need to have lost more than 103 pounds. Why don't you get on the scale and let's find out how well you did. Patty, when you started this competition, you weighed 280 pounds. Your current weight is? Your current weight is 216 pounds. You lost 64 pounds, Patty. That's awesome. You did tremendous. You lost 22.86% of your body weight, which is an amazing accomplishment, but Jerry, you are still our first place winner. One step closer to $100,000. Can Jerry hold on to his lead when we come back? The weigh-ins continue, and someone is gonna be taking home $100,000. Oh, hey. The amazing transformations of our four finalists. Who will be the biggest loser and take home $250,000? From Hollywood, the finale of The Biggest Loser. Here again is Allison Sweeney. Welcome back, everyone. Our eliminated players have returned to face the scale one last time. The player with the greatest percentage of weight loss is going to win $100,000 from TheBiggestLoserClub.com. Jerry is currently our leader. And now it is Jim's turn to weigh in. You went home in week five. Jim was lucky enough to start his journey with his twin brother, Bill. The first twins in Biggest Loser history, but he had to finish that journey on his own. Let's look at this. The fact that my brother and I have both gone up basically the same, we just sort of, I guess we both sort of let ourselves go the same way. I look forward to getting back to where I can look in the mirror and say, hey, you know, my wife's a pretty lucky girl. <laughs> My life has changed for good forever. A new, healthier way of life now. And uh, I've included the family in my training. I go running and bike riding with my wife. I'm 41 years old. I feel as good at least as I did when I was 21. I'm a happier person now, definitely. $100,000 and take the lead away from Jerry, you need to have lost more than 133 pounds. Bring it. Let's get you on that scale. Jillian started me off, but Anthony Battalamenti from Belmore got me here. All right. Well, your starting weight when you first started training with Jillian was 361 pounds. 
your current weight is. Stop working out when you're done with football. You just keep eating. You ready to make a change? Thought it out. When I started on Biggest Loser Campus, uh, I weighed 403 pounds, and today I'm 295 pounds. It has been a great change for our whole family. We're all eating better, exercising. We've all lost weight. Yeah. The ultimate goal is to be there for my daughter and my wife, and ultimately be there for myself. If you want to take the lead, beat out Jim, you need to have lost more than 207 pounds. All righty. So let's get you on that scale, see how you did. Phil, your starting weight was 403 pounds. Your current weight is. first came to the show, he had a lot of pain bottled up inside him, but he finally let it go and the weight went with it. Let's take a look. How you doing, brother? Good, man. How are you? I've been able to portray this great front of who, who Jez Luckett is and this like bigger than life persona. Inwardly, there's just this kind of beast almost that just doesn't like who I really am. <laughs> and, uh... I just need to start caring about myself. I'm worth it, you know? The most valuable thing uh, I learned from being on The Biggest Loser is truly the strength that I have inside of me. I'm not paralyzed by that fear anymore. more than 177 pounds. Easy. All right, so bring it. Let's get you on the scale. All right, Jazz, your starting weight was 345 pounds. Your current weight is. You have a lot to be proud of. Jim, you are still our leader. You are so close to $100,000. Up next is David. He went home after eight weeks. Cowboy has a beautiful wife, but he never thought he deserved her, so The Biggest Loser changed that. Here's how. I have always been heavy. You know, I used to rope some and mess with cattle, and the older you get, you know, it just catches up with you. I feel like I can do a lot more. I feel like I accomplish more in a workout, in a day, 
I think the most valuable thing that I've learned during my time in this experience is that the only way to get there is hard work. I'm definitely happiest that David's just gonna be around for a long time. <gasps> Check with Eddie! Hey, hey, hey! My wife and kids are 100% my motivation. The biggest reward is what I'm doing for my family. I wanna be able to be there for my kids forever. See if you did it. Get on that scale. I'm going to exhale real quick. <laughs> OK, David, your starting weight was 368 pounds. I want to say hello to my boys, Nicholas and Jacob at home. I love you. I love you. Your current weight is. Jim is still our leader. When we come back, the competition continues for the $100,000 prize. Don't forget to tune in to the new season of The Biggest Loser starting on New Year's Day. Welcome back. The weigh-ins continue as our eliminated players have been invited back for a shot at $100,000. Jim is on top with a total percentage of weight loss of 51.52%. That is a lot. We're going to have to see if anyone here can beat it. Ryan, you went home in week nine. For years, Ryan's extra pounds weighed his life down. But then he discovered that health could lead to happiness. Check it out. For me, I feel like the weight has been the one persistent problem in my life. 374 pounds. It's crazy. <laughs> I think the thin me is inside, and I just like to sort of introduce him to the rest of the world. This process changes everything about you. I've done things that I didn't think I can do. I've pushed myself harder than I ever thought I can push. The greatest reward for me is being a good example to my family. I feel better than I've ever felt before. more than 192 pounds. Take a seat. You got it? All right, well, bring it. Get on that scale. Ryan, your starting weight was 374 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 241 pounds, a difference of 133 pounds, Ryan. That is an amazing, amazing Congratulations, but Jim, you are still in the lead. Yeah. You're doing it. You got five people left to weigh in, Jim. $100,000 on the line here. And Amy is up next. Amy, you went home in week 10. Amy had a little bit of a difficult time on campus, but her struggles clearly paid off. Watch this. The way I'm living my life and my, my habits are it's like a, a slow death, I know that. I need to be here, I need to learn how to eat healthy, I need to learn how to love exercise, and I need to go home and teach that to my girls so I can be a role model for them. Just embrace a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> the Biggest Loser has, it's enhanced my life in every way. I'm more active, I'm happy. I wasn't happy, you know, being fat like that. I've got my life back, I'm comfortable in my own skin, I like, what I see when I look in the mirror, I am definitely never going back to the Amy that I was when I started the show. Okay, Amy, well, you definitely have your life back, but now it is time to see if you can win $100,000. To do that, you need to have lost more than 153 pounds. So get on that scale, let's see how you did. Amy, your previous weight was 297 pounds. Your current weight is. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, your current weight is 171 pounds. You lost 126 pounds, Amy. For a total percentage of weight loss of 
92%. Amy, you are quite a role model for your daughters. But that is not enough to knock Jim out of first place. You're sitting pretty, getting closer to $100,000. Congratulations. Thank you. Amy, good job. OK, Kay, you went home after 11 weeks. Kay was Bob's little soldier. She came here to be inspired, but she ended up inspiring others with the greatest percentage of weight loss of any female to date. Check this out. What the doctor told me actually really shocked me. For him to say I was morbidly obese, it really woke me up like, whoa. I lost a total of 83 pounds and I feel amazing. I'm doing things that I never, ever thought I was gonna be able to do. The triathlon, running, boxing, rock climbing, it's just been so amazing. Thank you, Biggest Loser. You have given me self-worth, confidence, and empowerment. Okay, Kay, we're down to the wire here. You want to beat out Jim, win $100,000. You need to have lost more than 115 pounds. Get on that scale. I think I can. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chen and Turbo Michelle. was 225 pounds. Today, you weigh. Watch this. Now, I've been overweight definitely for almost 20 years. Sometimes it feels debilitating to know that, you know, I let myself slip. And I'm tired of waiting to do something about it. It's, I mean, it's now or never. <laughs> I'm doing things today that I never thought I would do before going to the Biggest Loser campus. My lifestyle has definitely changed for the better since I've been home. I'm just so much more active and I, I, I eat so much better. And I don't even think there are words to explain how much I'm enjoying this new life. People out there who are having this problem, if I can do it, um, you definitely can do it. more than 178 pounds. That's all? That's it. That's all you have to do, get on the scale. Your starting weight was 346 pounds. Your current weight is? Your current weight is 224 pounds. You lost 122 pounds, B, for a total percentage of weight loss of 35.26%. B. Keep dropping off. And if your New Year's resolution is to lose weight, join us on January 1st for the new season of The Biggest Loser. This time, it's Cumbles. Okay, everyone, welcome back. We're down to three contenders for the $100,000 prize. Jim currently has the lead, and there are two players left to weigh in. Jim, you are two players away from $100,000. Okay, Nicole, you were eliminated after 13 weeks. Nicole came to The Biggest Loser. She felt embarrassed about her weight. She had trouble even going to the mall, but let's see how that changed. Look at you, first girl coming through. What's your name? Nicole. I've always been chubby my whole life. I want to be the person that people don't say, oh, she's so pretty, but she's fat. It's hard to see past the, the, the chub, you know? Physically right now, I feel absolutely amazing to be able to get dressed up and go out to bars and have that confidence. My life has completely changed and to be able to be that girl that I've always wanted to be is just amazing. You want to win $100,000, you need to have lost 
more than 143 pounds. Let's get you on that scale and see how you did. Nicole, your starting weight was 279 pounds. Your current weight is? 6 of the everyday frustration of being overweight. You know, I hate not being able to go to Fenway Park and seeing my Red Sox play because I can't fit into a seat. So I hope to be married maybe the next couple of years, but uh, I can't commit myself to the next step of my girlfriend until I take care of myself first. I need this. I have to do this. If I don't do this, my deathbed's waiting for me. Oh! Oh! Yes! Thank you so much. Before my experience with The Biggest Loser, I was a 25-year-old guy who had a lot of health problems and was headed down a bad track. I could do so many things now that I couldn't do before. Going shopping at normal clothing stores, it feels pretty good. I've changed my life for the better, and I know I'll be around for a long time. Jim and win $100,000, you need to have lost more than 216 pounds. Oh, no sweat, Allison. No problem. Come on, I saw you out there on campus. All Get right. on the scale. Let's see you All do right. this. Neil, your starting weight was 421 pounds. Your current weight is. diet and the exercise goes. Food is definitely the, uh, the most difficult thing right now. We're medical salespeople, and uh, we bring in meals for our clients. Ooh, all that feta cheese. Oh, my goodness. What really gets me are the desserts. You know, this was a Greek lunch. There's always baklava, which is, um, you know, I mean, before this, I had a body built by baklava. My old habits that have recurred since I've been home are, um, Midnight kitchen picking. You know, this process has been grueling, to say the least. My twin brother Jim and I, we had an X on our back right from the beginning. It's helpful to be able to remind each other that we have to go on in there and win it for ourselves and for us as a pair. I don't know if, uh, if I've done enough. <laughs> you got this. It's easy. Uh, Good. This never gets easy. Never, never, never. Once you have obesity, it's like alcoholism. You never lose it. Uh, it's like, hi, I'm Isabeau and I'm obese. 30 seconds. Ooh. It's those times of doubt that's the best for you, that it's hard to even stay on track with your weight loss. I have to lose five pounds a week and I know that that's not gonna happen and then maybe I should sit, just sit down with this quarter of ice cream. There are times I've wondered, is this worth this kind of stress? Is this worth me having nightmares? Working out since I've been home has been a bit of a struggle. 
you know, life gets in the way. Uh, I need to sleep. <laughs> I need to prepare meals. And, um, you know, maybe that's why I'm kind of run down. I'm still a person who struggles every day to get up and go to the gym or to eat, um, you know, healthy when what I really want to do is go through the drive through I want to so bad be the first female biggest loser. But to have to, you know, work as hard as I'm working, knowing that Bill and Isabeau are working out just like I am, and they used to drop huge numbers. It's been hard to just not say, you know what? Enough is enough. <laughs> when I went home, I was really comfortable, and that scared me. I still need to push myself and be out of my comfort zone in order to be successful. In the end, I decided that I needed to move back to LA. My biggest fear is that I'm not gonna be able to keep the weight off. You know, I wanna go out and I wanna meet people and I wanna date and all of these things and I can't do any of those because I feel like if I do, I'm gonna lose focus of why I came here in the first place. You know, you wanna have this great moment at the finale and you want people to be impressed and I'm just afraid that that might not happen. I'm working out now more than I ever have, but the weight is not coming off. And I don't know why, and it's so frustrating. It's definitely hard being here because I don't have my family or my friends. When I come home at night, I have myself. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to move on with my life until I finish this chapter. It's not getting my life back. I don't want my old life back. I want something different for myself. Up next, the final four. You will not believe your eyes. It's the biggest music finale, live from Hollywood. Here again is Allison Sweeney. They work their butts off. Check this out. Eating well is much easier for me than exercising is. It's really good. Yeah. Right. And the greatest thing is you get to choose what you want on it. You, If you don't want the mayo for the extra calories, don't get it. Can't really go wrong with Subway. When I'm busy, I need to have something fast so I don't go and eat something ridiculous. You know, it was so nice on campus to be able to have certain products that I was familiar with. So when I came home and I was like going to the grocery store, as soon as I saw the Genio turkey, I was like, yes, okay, I know I can eat that. That's safe for me. That smells good. And just the other day, I made breakfast burritos, and it was awesome. It's been great to know that the things that I was taught on campus, I can continue at home. This is us right here, right now. There is finale day. It took me a while to get back into the swing of things, but I'm just trying to do the best that I possibly can, and it's really freaking hard. Go, 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 go! The beginning of this competition, I felt like nobody perceived me as a threat. And here I am. I am a finalist in The Biggest Loser season four. I started out the largest girl ever on the show. To start at that point and then go to being the ultimate champion of the season, that would be incredible. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of hoping that Holly, Julie, Isabeau, maybe eating some ice cream sundaes, fried chicken, biscuits and gravy, donuts, anything. Mm. I've always been afraid of what Bill could accomplish, but not anymore. I would say, I'm not afraid of you, Bill. Bring it on. I want to win this. Bad. You only got a few more workouts to the finale. Come on. Anyone that knows me knows that I will do everything and anything in my power to come back and win this thing, and I will. Awesome. Ah! You know, it would be the cherry on top to walk away the first female biggest loser. I came in from day one knowing that I was going to win this, and I'm ready. You won it, right? You won it, right? I know that I have done every single thing that I can possibly do. I'm ready to get on the scale. Ah! 
I am the biggest loser. I will be the biggest loser. I will be the first female biggest loser. I'm gonna be the next biggest loser, or I'm gonna die trying. For the first time, the Biggest Loser finale continues live from Hollywood. Welcome back to the Biggest Loser finale. We've seen some stunning transformations tonight, but nothing has prepared you for what you're about to see. Isabel, Bill, Julie, and Holly were all members of the black team, the underdogs, the outcasts. But they had a lot to prove, and they went home, and they went all the way. Now each of them has a shot at $250,000 from Nabisco 100 calorie packs. So I have one question. Are you ready to see the final four? You're about to see their amazing transformation. Let's bring them out. This stay-at-home mom took care of everyone except herself. Embarrassed by her weight, she wouldn't go to her husband's holiday office party six years in a row. But deep down, there was a vibrant woman dying to get out, and she is out. Come on, welcome Julie. Next month, um, I've been asked to speak in front of Congress. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Julie on Capitol Hill, that's a little scary, but um, you know, about nutrition and the things that I've learned and living healthy, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I have to also ask, how did you feel walking into your husband's office? Tell me about that. <laughs> well, you know, I've you know, hidden from there for so long. And when I walked in, they've all been watching the show, and they were great and supportive. And ironically, the Christmas party is tonight. And <laughs> so I'm like, dang it! I you think know? you have a good reason to miss it. Yeah. You've worked hard, and let's see if it's enough to win. OK. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. OK, now it's time for our next finalist before the biggest loser. This former cheerleader didn't have the confidence to meet people in date. But I think you'll agree that that is no longer the case. Watch out, because she's got a whole new look and a hot new body. Let's bring out Holly! Knowing those statistics, 90% of us are going to put our weight back on, and I don't want to be one of those people. I'm determined to be part of that 10% that keeps it off. And what have you done to make sure that that doesn't happen to you? Oh, I've done so many things. I've changed everything. I actually live here now and am doing a whole new healthy lifestyle, so everything's <laughs> different. Congratulations. I got to tell you, Holly, you look phenomenal. I wish you all the good luck on the scale. Up next, we are going to meet someone else. Are you ready for our third finalist? Before she came to campus, this 21-year-old had high hopes for a record deal, but her weight was holding her back. She was also coming from a super active family, and that made things tough for her, too. Now she's got a beautiful figure to go along with that beautiful voice. Please welcome Isabeau. <laughs>
gorgeous. Thank you. Stunning, I don't need to tell you that. Thank you. Okay, so we knew all along that you had a true love of music. Yes. But I understand you developed a second passion while you were on the Biggest Loser campus. I did, a uh, passion I never really thought I had, but uh, I, after my experience, I kind of felt it was my duty to pay it forward. And I've since become a personal trainer. And, <laughs> and uh, I have some amazing clients who I kick their butts, just like Jillian taught me, and hope that I help them continue on a journey of health forever. Well, you have changed your life, and now you're changing others' lives. Thank you. Thank you so much, Isabel. We have one finalist left, our only male competitor this year. Our only finalist. He um, and his brother are the first Biggest Loser twins ever. He dreamed of being a more active dad, but his weight kept him on the sidelines. Well, that's history. Here he is, ripped and ready for anything. The new Bill! being overweight, that it didn't bother you. You got to the campus and you had a wake-up call. Tell me about that. Well, you know, um, as the minute I hit 40, you know, I'm representing the old timers here, you know, and uh, <laughs> you know, I found out that I was unhealthy, blood pressure problems, cholesterol issues, and uh, recently we lost a friend that was in our age group, lost, you know, had you know, left a house full of kids, and it, it really was a wake-up call, and we thought that if we had the opportunity to do this, something we had to do, we just had to do. And you certainly succeeded. Well, thank you. January 1st for the start of The Biggest Loser. Couples will be right back. No more guessing. The final weigh-ins are coming up as The Biggest Loser finale continues. first came. These belong to you. At least I guess they used to. They're a size 54. Bill, what are you, what's your size now? I'm a 32 waist right now. Oh, yeah? I think actually you're going to need to help me because I think you and your twin brother Jim could fit into them now. Jim, what is, come get on, over here. <laughs> Let's look at our first ever Biggest Loser twins. What do you think of that? There you there? go. What do you think of how He looks great. Congratulations. Well, let's take a look back. Let's see how they used to look. <laughs> you have a little dance you guys used to do. Let's see it. Oh, you look hot. Bring it. Bring it. To the left, right to the left. Well, Jim, you want to hold on to these as a memento? Uh, thank you. Good job, Jim. Good okay, job. Julie. You're sizing up your competition here. How do you think you did? Oh, I don't know. I'm scared of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we'll bring it to Bill. Who, which of the competition scares you the most? I don't know. You know, I mean, look at all three of them. Forget it. You know, um, <gasps> I don't know, though. Uh, Julie, she and I were always paired up the whole time. And uh, I know she, you know, for the old timers, she never gave up and never complained. No one ever complained. But I'm worried a little about all three of them. Look at them. They all look like... Isabel, well, what about you? You look fabulous. Are you nervous you. about one person in particular here tonight? No, I think they all just, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm speechless. They look incredible. I can't, there are no words. Holly, you have something you want to say to your friends? I'm just, I'm just really happy that the four of us are standing here. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, well, we have a little piece of business to attend to here. Bill? Since you were the Final Four's Biggest Loser while you were on campus, you get to decide the order of how everyone will weigh in tonight. Well, um, you know, I thought about it, and uh, you know what? Uh, Julie and I have been representing the old-timer group for, for quite a while, so <laughs> I thought that um, as the baby boomer of the generation that... Uh, I can't believe we just threw you under the bus like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> 
But you know what? Uh, I think we, it's only right to go in age order. So we should start with Isabel because she's only 22. And then we'll go with uh, Holly, uh, Julie, and then uh, maybe I'll go last. <laughs> OK. OK. Isabel, that means you're first. That scale must bring back a lot of memories. I think we should take a look. I've never had the full effects of being a knockout. I've had the effects of being the fat girl with the pretty face. I can't wait to feel beautiful. <gasps> I have a really uphill battle to climb. I'm the heaviest female contestant in Biggest Loser history. Go! <laughs> I've changed by leaps and bounds since the first week. I'm actually a little bit little. I want to make it to the finale as the first female Biggest Loser more than anything. I want a woman to stand up there and other women in America to know that this can be done. When you go up there, you can take them off at the top. Okay, okay Isabel, remember, it is not just about the pounds that you have lost, but the winner of the Biggest Loser, the winner of $250,000, is going to be the person with the greatest percentage of total weight loss. All right. You're going to go first. Oh, I'm so glad Bill did it that way. Get up on that scale. Get it over with. <laughs> Isabel, when you first started training with Jillian, your weight was 298 pounds. Today, your current weight is. number to beat, 37.92%. You're starting us off strong. And if no one else tops your percentage, you're going to be taking home a quarter of a million dollars. And we're going to find out if she did it right after this. The title of The Biggest Loser and the $250,000 Nabisco 100 Calorie Packs Grand Prize are just ahead. Up at biggestloser.msn.com. It's part of the new season of The Biggest Loser starting in two weeks from tonight on New Year's Day. And here's a sneak peek. These people are best friends. These two have spent their entire lives together. Brothers, former teammates, parents, and their children. Husbands and wives. But on New Year's Day, for the first time ever, they'll all get to experience the biggest loser together. Do it again. I knew you were strong. Get up now! When it comes to losing weight, Run! there's a thin line between love and hate. Each week, they'll compete in challenges together. Come back! Come back! And weigh in together. Oh my god. But each person has their own reasons for getting healthy. Dad, I love you. I miss you. <laughs> I I'm miss you. I'm going to bring me back a prize. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring you back a prize, buddy. How much weight can they lose together? What the hell are you doing? Don't ever do that again. I'm working my ass off oh, of I am there. too. No, you're not. These are our three choices for today. You puke, you can cry, or you can keep going. What's it going to be? 20 players, 10 teams. Who will be the next biggest loser? Holly, you have made an 
an incredible physical transformation. Thank you. You have changed your life. So um, I have to ask, you guys were best friends. You were teammates from day one. You were left out in the desert together. How did it feel going home knowing you are now competition? Um, I think it's... <laughs> so I'm kind of speechless about it because I know how hard each one of these individuals work. I knew what I was up against the entire time, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, you've made an incredible physical transformation, as I just said, but that is not enough. You also changed your life. Let's check it out. I made excuses my whole life. I've always known I've been bigger, but I am on just a kind of a scary path, and I don't want to live my life like that. Yes, Holly! Jillian really wants me to push beyond my limits. Go! Again! What I'm most amazed by is, is not just my physical transformation, but my mental transformation. I'm more confident. I'm definitely a lot happier with myself, and I'm a different person than I was when I started. Now, Isabeau has the highest percentage of weight loss. She's the percentage of weight loss to beat right now. If you want to beat her, you need to have lost more than 96 pounds. Holly, you've changed your life. Let's see if you can win yourself $250,000. Your starting weight was 255 pounds. Your current weight is. One step closer to $250,000. Up next, it is Julie's turn to face the scale one last time. Julie, for years you hid from people and from life, but not anymore. You look incredible. Thank you. But we're going to take a look, see how you got there. I want to change the fact that, I want to change the fact that I don't feel happy with myself. I feel like since I stepped on the Biggest Loser campus, I am completely and totally a different person. You know, the first day, I was embarrassed of my weight, and I felt like I was the shell of a person. And now, I feel strong, and I feel like I'm in control. Breath. Learning to believe in myself and to work hard for everything that I want has set me up for the rest of my life. You're gonna be the biggest loser. Okay, Julie has the high, Holly has the highest percentage of weight loss. She's the one to beat right now, 41.18%. Looking back at those photos, I mean, what do you have to say? Is there something you want to say to your former self? I'd say I'm not hiding anymore. <laughs> me. And you have nothing to hide from. Get up on that scale. OK, Julie. You already won a car. But now, if you're ready to win $250,000 on The Biggest Loser, you need to have lost more than 89 pounds. Your starting weight was 218 pounds. Your current weight is. percentage of weight loss of 
34.5%. Well, your friend Julie put you out of the first place spot there, Holly. Julie, you have taken the lead. All right, we have one person left to weigh in. It's down to Bill and Julie, and we're going to find out which of them is going to be the biggest loser in just a moment. Next, one more weigh in. The biggest loser finale continues live from Hollywood. In just a moment, one player will become this year's biggest loser and win the grand prize of $250,000 from Nabisco 100 Calorie Pack. So far, Julie has the lead with a total percentage of weight loss of 44.5%. But Bill has yet to weigh in. And if he beats that number, he's going to win it all. And if Julie wins, she's going to be the first female winner in biggest loser history. He trained in the desert, struggled with injuries. Well, no one said it would be easy. Take a look at his transformation. When you think about yourself last, then all of a sudden, look in the mirror 15 years later, and this is what you see. Congratulations, Bill. You've lost 100 pounds. <laughs> After living my entire adult life obese, this place has given me the strength and the knowledge to know that I can do it. When my brother got voted off, you know, what he told me was, hey, listen, now it's on you to keep the twins alive. <laughs> Just about everything has changed about me. I'm a much happier person. Not happier in life, happier with myself. Biggest Loser Campus. It's a place where hope stays alive and where dreams come true. Uh, you know, uh, going home, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a dream come true to actually get home, see with my family, you know, uh, and, and see their reactions. I mean, we were gone for four months, and uh, I'm, I'm doing it all for them. My wife, Stephanie, 15 years, and my children, Adrian, Luke, and Hope. I do it all for them. Okay, well, we have one more thing left to do for them. It all comes down to you and Julie. We are talking $250,000. Shaking on it? Okay. If you want to win this, you need to have lost more than 148 pounds. Get on that scale. Let's see how you did. Get up there. You changed your life. You helped your family. You're one step away from winning $250,000 or handing it to Julie. Bill, your starting weight was 334 pounds. Your current weight is...
Your local news is next, followed by The Tonight Show with Jay Leno.